హాయ్ గైస్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ సో వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ నా మన ప్రయాణం సో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ న్యూ టు ఛానల్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ మనోహర్ ఐఎమ్ స్టడీయింగ్ మై బిజినెస్ అనలెటిక్స్ ఇన్ నార్త్ అమెరికా యూనివర్సిటీ లండన్ క్యాంపస్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇండియా సో యాజ్ యూ నో ఇట్స్ బీన్ టూ మంత్స్ ఫర్ మీ ఇన్ లండన్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇన్ యూకే అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ మిక్స్డ్ ఫీలింగ్స్ విత్ మీ అండ్ యా క్వైట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ సో దట్స్ హౌ లైఫ్ గోస్ ఆన్ అండ్ టుడే వి హ్యావ్ ఎ స్పెషల్ గెస్ట్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ and uh, i will show you who is it okay uh, hi bro hi hi how are you yeah i'm good how are you fine so he is abdul from hyderabad so he will talk today about he will introduce about himself okay bro yeah, my you... name is abdul hussain uh, i am from hyderabad too uh, i am pursuing my msc business in business analytics from northumbria university we both are classmates yeah so so we are both are classmates we are studying the same course but we are in different groups okay so bro how was your experience so far in london uk yeah the experience was uh, good but what we think uh, in our home country uh, it's not like that here mm. it's completely different you know yeah. the things won't uh, fall in your place you mm. need to wait for some things to happen yeah i i want to explain in a different way like uh, in india or whatever country we are coming from in our home country like going to uk us canada we think it's a developed country rich country so we think like fancy things we'll do that thing we'll buy this thing but yeah we can do it and whatever dreams we can fulfill it but it will take some time so we need to be like uh, pa- we should have patience yeah we should have patience and uh, when time comes we'll get everything but you need to wait you need to be prepared for Maybe everything pe- yeah th- that thing comes to you mm-hmm. but it takes time here mm mm-hmm. so it's been two months for us uh for you also right? yeah uh, it's been two months for me too yeah so we came here for the september intake and uh, we came on august right yeah august and august month. ending august yeah. month what we want to say is like uh, be prepared for everything so we'll discuss some points uh, our experiences in past two months regarding part time we want to talk about regarding part time yeah part time mm. you can find part time jobs over here but uh, like in terms if you want to do part time and you want to pay your fees by doing mm. part time so that won't be happening over here so you need to be fully prepared on that you yeah. can work 20 hours a week in london mm. or in united kingdom mm. so things that uh, you can earn approximately like 2 to 300 a week yeah so what happens you know so if you think that no i'll pay the my fees doing part time mm. it won't be happen you yeah. need to be fully prepared on that the first thing you coming what is your motive of coming here in london is for studying studies of course studies not for paying your fees mm-hmm. so if you are thinking like that then change your mind change your decision of change coming your to decision uk of coming to united not only kingdom, uk any other country any other countries also yeah. yeah so because see as a student as per the uk va government lines not only in uk i think in us and uh, in yeah. canada also they have only 20 hours students can only work for 20 hours a week that is like around 80 hours uh, per month so as per the rules and regulations we cannot work more than that and uh, there is also the pay is also fixed like for the based on the age group they will fix 9.5 10.5 pounds per hour so based on that we need to only work 20 hours and here uh, in london especially there are a lot of jobs we cannot say there there are not any jobs at all but still we need to make our brain like physically mentally that whatever gets we need to do like whether you are working worked as a like analyst or a software engineer or any other field in india or any other country in that case so here after coming to uk we need to like work from basics like a hotel uh, assistant or what you say the kitchen porter yeah, night porter you can porter, work in warehouse warehouses like you can work in security as security well security as well so so need to prepare that so if you don't want to go into those kind of jobs then it's up to you but even if you work as so actually in uh, these developed countries they will respect any other jobs like as usual like even if you are working as laborer they will respect our what yeah, you say yeah so so respect th- is everything over here yeah. they are not like uh, racism mm. this is nothing over here so in tvs and all news we watch racism and all but it's not like that so people will respect our uh, cultures here it's like home country only you will mm. find like indian foods and mm. restaurants and everything even if you wanted to purchase something like indian clothing mm. so you'll find each and you'll everything over here it's like home country you won't feel like you're homesick or some other stuff 
but when you come uh, the first time your first time you are leaving your home country so mm. that might affect you but you need to be mentally prepared for that also yeah even for me when i came to london literally saying i felt it's like hyderabad in hyderabad we have like diverse yeah, people from different states different, different states. languages right yeah. similarly, we, similarly have we have people from different countries different countries that's it and even in london like uh, we can find our indian food items as he said the groceries also even i showed you in some videos about the temples we have mass church everything okay especially in london the diversity is more and even uh, i have seen in the news channel that yeah. uh, like i read an article wherein 40% of the houses, houses are belongs to indians yeah <laughs> in, in uk them, yeah, yeah. Citizens, indian society indian citizens are there so regarding that culturally everything is good and as you said part time so we have different part times uh, we need to make sure that we are ready and uh, prepared to do all those things okay and many are asking about uh, security jobs the sia jobs do you know anything about that bro yeah security job if you wanted to do uh, a job in security you need to apply for the batch for the batch you need a pcc mm. so you can apply pcc from india as well mm. you apply it and bring your pcc with you mm. and uh, you need to go uh, training for 7 days 7 mm. days of training then you need to apply for your batch and it takes approximately 1 and a half month to 2 months to to get that batch to get that batch the mm. entire process is like that so mostly the sa the security people they will pay more I mean because they are standing outside or they are uh, doing night shifts and all and uh, regarding pcc there is police clearance certificate i have already made that video and if you want i will link here or here okay you can watch that and you need to apply through online to the nearest uh, uh, passport seva kendra we say okay so don't take it from the local uh, state state things okay take it from central this uh, passport seva portal many are saying uh, we can say take it from e seva also but i no. think it is not valid properly and the validity the duration is one year so in one year we can uh, use that As if you are applying for the sia we get the batch right then that batch will be useful for how long you want to work in a sia okay bro one more thing uh, as we are talking about jobs many like many many after studies they wanted to get sponsored right many ask about care homes and all yeah care homes so guys see and there is a catch here like we are doing some masters in uh, our domain maybe interestingly or without interest we are doing some business analytics courses or doing any the engineering courses so what i say is whatever domain you are into please stick to that my suggestion so that in long term you can uh, get a good chance so you need to explore our uh, uh, things like which way which field we want to go which domain we want to go but some many of the people after coming here they go to care homes like for the sponsorship one so it's up to you even there are a lot of uh, opportunities for the care homes yeah even yeah. we have opportunities for the care homes yeah so if you want to stay anyway in uk <laughs> <laughs> we can go for that why i'm saying this see many are uh, afraid about the psw thing the dependent visas mm-hmm. you know right so But that's there is a hum- uh, rumor going on that the PSW mm. will be get cancelled get cancelled won't yeah. get the visas mm. it's not actually like that it's not officially declared by the government yeah. but we cannot say anything on that we need to wait for further updates from the officials yeah even we don't know even though we are staying here like we don't know whether we get the PSW or yeah. not whether uh, we don't know what going to happen in the future hopefully we get the prime minister from india india ins indian origin and maybe they won't be rude uh, to the students hopefully everyone everyone will get a chance to work here like the psw the post study work permit right yes so that's about the jobs and all what else bro and uh, there are for the jan and uh, september yeah. intake you need to be fully prepared you need mm. to book your accommodation in advance mm. uh, because there is a problem going on with the accommodation accommodation see as you have seen uh, if you have seen any news articles or anything yeah that's after the covid situation in during the covid situation there are like students didn't come to uk maybe this few people they didn't join or they delayed their admission so many are coming now like after the covid post covid so there is a rush of students to uk yeah even the dependents also mm, so there are that's why recently the home secretary said there are a lot of people who need to cut them and all so that the things are going on in the government it's politics but still many students are coming we all we welcome you even uh, the people in uk they welcomed us 
yeah we have the visions we have the dreams we have aims to yeah, yeah. do something great in success succeed in our life so we can come so whatever if you are coming here pre plan it everything you can do everything by yourself so as the brother said we can uh, look into our accommodations accommodations like so, transport from airport to your accommodation mm, yeah it should be pre plan everything you cannot yeah. just uh, keep your passport in your bag and just get mm. up in the morning and come mm. catch a flight and come yeah. to the land it's not like that see even london is not uh, like that much scary as i said no cultural differences and all but as we are going for the first time or maybe for the first time first, going first to time. new places new place like we can do it we are a graduate now we are studying masters <clears throat> or even bachelors we are grown up right we should have that maturity to travel individually maybe you need to live individually here okay so we need to prepare all those things yeah as we have said previously also the cost of living is way higher than what we think here so for me personally i'm paying around uh, 500 pounds per month that is around 50000 as i'm uh, looking close to the central yeah, london, the central london. Oh, what it's, about you how much uh, it's depend upon the accommodation where mm. you are actually staying if you're closer to the london you need to pay high high yes if you're staying uh, far away from central london then the cost of the cost mm. will reduce automatically yeah cost will automatically reduce but we need to plan our traveling also yeah traveling. we are traveling in london especially we don't know much about uk we are uh, concentrated only to but, london but the traveling in london mm. is uh, i think it's the uh, number one in yeah. the world, world yeah, because yes. you know they are uh, very well in this mm. they have tubes trains and uh, everything is connected so you can move from one place to another place quickly also yeah quickly also and uh, every place is connected through as he said buses, buses trains trams also in some places and uh, anyhow we have separate uh, what i have yeah. good thing i have seen is we have separate lanes for the buses for the, the cars buses, the and cars. also the cycles that cycles. is the most, is the most important thing so in the traffic uh, even the buses need to stop when the cycles are passing through okay. <laughs> so that is very important thing in mm. cities right so yeah what else we have written something but uh, for yeah regarding the education so we are talking everything else apart from the education so we came here to do masters we are both studying the business analytics, business analytics yeah. course if you're coming for a purpose then you have to be on that purpose only yeah that's there true. are so many distractions over here you will be get distracted mm. but so you it, need to come back and again mm. be on your same track so back in india or in our home country we have our parents or relatives some gu- teachers they will guide us they will like back on us okay you can do it something yeah, like that. but something. here individually we need to motivate uh, ourselves motivate self motivation is very much important in, a, yeah. in the country so whatever we want to achieve whatever the goals we have like be, of be, course be strict to it be strict to it the masters the bachelors whatever you want to do or the getting the job here full time so be strict to that so don't uh, distract yourself with the cultures like the partying everything is there we need to enjoy also but uh, our main focus should be on studies and many people like do extra part time and all so my suggestion should not be doing that yeah. so we should give time for the job we should give time for the uh, the studies and ourselves also okay so health is also my important yeah how we are feeling the weather <laughs> yeah weather is too cold it's like freezing freezing uh, in hyderabad we face temperature like 16 mm. to 20 degrees but here it's like 6 degrees single digit uh, single digit uh, single digit temperature so till now in london we face around like 5 6 degrees but uh, it's okay but in coming in, in coming, coming months, coming months uh, you'll be <laughs> it's facing like minus degrees minus. also sometimes hopefully it won't snow here <laughs> <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully yeah so that's all about guys uh, it's been two months for us and we want to share our thoughts and experience experiences what we mm. are facing so if you are seeing uh, i'm sitting in a nice cool place we came uh, so for we a came for a residential res- in a hotel yeah it's a holiday inn in the west london mm. so we came uh, through the university they have yeah. taken us to some restaurant uh, the hotel actually and we are staying the night here and uh, like they, it's a training program kind of so we get to know each other how to work in teams as we are working in uh, we are studying a management course yeah. so they are training with the experienced people and uh, we get to know how to manage those things practically so now it is a practically oriented uh, training and the like it included in the course actually so we came here 
yeah it's a, it's a part of our module like yeah, leadership part of our module so whatever we do it here we need to reflect in our assignments and the course so that means you need to engage with the university mm. to get something and these things will help you in the future, future to yeah. build your own career so it helps us in uh, working with teams in the corporate sector basically so if you get a chance in your university please try to utilize that so so maybe if we have very less time here if you want to study and go back to uh, our home country so whatever the time we have we need to utilize it properly what do you say bro yeah yeah we need to utilize it so utilize it 100 percently from my side uh, like i am doing multiple things i'm happy with that and even me even myself also daily i will think about like i need to do more i need to study i need to do more vlogs and uh, help as much people yeah, as yeah. possible okay so that's it guys if you like this video give a thumbs up and uh, if you have any doubts any kind of doubts regarding study in uk about the examination patterns or the part time jobs accommodation please try to like, give the in comment section we'll try to help uh, help you people okay and uh, yeah that's it that's it guys please subscribe see you soon in uk yeah see you soon uk and please subscribe thank you bye thank you bye